Now, our skin is one of the largest organs in our bodies, and it plays a surprisingly important role in reflecting the state of our health. Facial skin in particular, like us, evolves as we age. It's therefore important that we make skin care a priority to maintain a glowing, healthy skin throughout all stages of life. So just how can we go about getting it right? Well, we've invited nutritional therapist and NLP practitioner Nikki Robertson to give us her tips on ageless skin. Nikki, thank you so much for joining us. Great to see you in person once and again. And you, yeah. Yes. Nikki, we had a chat previously about um, the gut and gut health mm. and how that can impact skin through things like eczema. Um, but what are the other influencing factors that have a impact on the look of and the age and the deterioration of our skin? Right. So there's so many things that go into, into healthy skin, whether we're looking at minimizing breakouts at certain times of life, so puberty, uh, menopause, or if we are looking at anti-aging or aging well. Uh, but skin is a really good, uh, from a functional medicine point of view, it's one of the best barometers to see what's really going on with a person's general health. Okay. So it's one of those things that I look at anyway when a person comes to me. And what we see first and foremost on the skin is, is markers of inflammation. So skin is a, almost a microscope of what's going on on the inside. So if your detoxification isn't right, we will see it in the skin. If right. you have gut dysbiosis, so if you have a proliferation of certain bacteria, we'll see that reflect in the skin as well and it is a marker of, of um, a hormonal imbalance so most of us know that you go you know pre-puberty pre or uh, at certain times of life just before menstruation we get a breakout and that is a marker of what's going on in the hormones and it's yeah. not something you have to live with that's really important we think that all teens should have you know, a skin breakout, it's a yeah. normal rite of passage, and it's not really. These things can be managed, and it's a sign that something else is out of balance. So it's, and it's yeah. really, really simple to fix without costing a fortune. Um, in terms of that puberty stage where skin breakouts are commonly known and, and they happen, what, what could teenagers do to prevent that or diminish the impact or reduce the effect, if I can call it that? Okay, so some teens will break out and some, sto some don't. And we've got to look at why and what's going on there. So that goes back to our detox detoxification cycles, how the liver manages to break down and get rid of byproducts. And hormones create byproducts as well. Okay. So hormones will build up to a certain level and they'll be detoxified through the liver. And if they're not, if that liver isn't working properly, if there is a genetic predisposition to poor detoxification for example or if that person isn't eating well the the toxic or the toxins in the liver are going to build up and it's going to come out somewhere right. so your skin is a detoxification organ as well and if it's not getting rid of through getting sort of passed through the kidneys and liver we're going to see that in the skin so as a teenager what we need to do is firstly make sure that they're drinking enough water water is okay the cheapest way to make sure that we're getting rid of um, toxins in the system. And right. most teens don't drink enough water. Also, what we've got to do is curb the intake of processed foods. Okay. And this is true for most things in life. Just a good, basic, healthy diet okay. really helps to regulate the inflammation that we're seeing in the skin. Right. So hormones, your androgens, your elevation in testosterone, also elevation in estrogen, will cause breakouts in the skin. But how we manage those and manage those cycles is critical to not actually having a dry Okay. Um, you know, things like your healthy fats, for example, are really, really important for your skin health as well because they regulate hormones. So when we look at, say, for instance, um, anti-aging or aging well, there's nothing worse, firstly, than seeing someone who's post 50, early 60s is trying to look 20. We're not looking for that, but we're looking <laughs> for the best version of you. Yeah. And the way we do that is through hydration and is through emollients. So it's okay. oils that keep the moisture in the skin. Right. So um, sunburn, for example, when somebody has a lot of sun damage, it's extreme dehydration in the skin. The quickest way to age is to dehydrate your skin. So it's not necessarily the sun alone doing the damage to the skin. It's the fact that it's sucking the moisture out of it and there's no oily or fatty layer that's keeping that moisture in. Okay. So we can deal with that not only by what we put on our skin, and we can talk about that just now, but also what we eat. So yes. what we eat is going to come out in our skin as well. Okay. I think it's so important to, to recognize the link between the detoxification process in your body and your skin because obviously things like processed foods and fast foods, but then things like alcohol, it's commonly yeah. seen in alcoholic or alcoholism yes. that it, it shows in your face so heavily. Exactly. Now, that's also linked to hydration. So I think it's, it's so important to recognize that interconnectedness, which yes. is what we talk about so often. That's exactly it. So alcohol is diuretic. It dehydrates all the tissues in the body and the sugar content of our alcohol breaks down our collagen. Okay. So there's a double whammy with alcohol. 
two of the quickest ways, aside from sun damage, to age is, is alcohol abuse mm -hmm. and cigarette smoking. Okay. So all of that it, it increases uh, the amount of oxidative stress in the system, not just in on the skin. Now, the skin is really resilient. Imagine what's going on with the very um, sensitive tissues on the inside, the organs. So if your skin is taking a hammering from alcohol use, from smoking, from eating processed foods, you can't even imagine what's going on with the skin on the yeah. inside and that is protecting our organs okay. so it is a barometer it's a warning yeah so yeah. alcohol is very it's a big problem you know the occasional glass of wine is never going to harm anybody yes but having to drink or drinking every day the amount of sugar you're taking in it creates untold inflammation which we see in the skin okay now you mentioned oxidative stress in terms of the of the the toxins in the body mm -hmm. but what about psychological stress and mm -hmm. uh, does that also show in your for skin? sure for sure. So I'd say that, you know, if somebody's really tired and really stressed, you can see it in their face. Their skin looks a little bit dull. They mm. get dark circles under their eyes. And that's just what the layman can see. Yes. What is really going on is huge damage just under the surface. And all of these things break down collagen. So okay. it's a problem. So now we've spoken about the inside and the importance of keeping that good so that the outside appears positive, good, clean, tidy, fresh, whatever you want to call mm. it. Now, what if, if there is some damage done? Um, is there a way to, to slow that down or correct it? Obviously, there are certain surgical procedures and things that can be done. But from a, from a, a lifestyle perspective that we can do to um, make our skin look generally healthier. So, yes, if, we, if we've gone through an, a lifetime of abusing our bodies and now you're sitting with this situation, there's a lot you can still do to improve the situation okay. for sure. Because skin cells and all of our cells are actually turning over all the time. They're yes. renewing. So if we give the skin the raw materials to renew healthily you will see a difference in about six weeks okay so if we focus on on simply hydration and getting yeah. healthy fats into the system and good quality amino acids which create or build a uh, collagen levels then you're going to see a profound change so okay. with most people who embark on a healthy living program the first thing that happens before they lose weight is people say why are you glowing yes, your skin yeah. looks amazing what have you done and it's it's sleep as well sleep is critically important you won't lose weight or have a healthy skin if you do not get restorative sleep okay. it is impossible because that is when the cell turnover happens yes. and the body gets rid of the rubbish and it builds new healthy cells and that happens while we're sleeping it's okay. really beauty sleep yes yeah it's absolutely. the most important okay. thing yeah <laughs> fantastic so now you you say that in terms of, of beauty creams and things like that you don't believe that that's going to have much impact mm. is there uh, topically anything you can yes. do that uh, will improve the appearance of your skin? Absolutely. So the most important thing is exfoliation. Okay. So as our skin um, builds new cells and gets rid of dead cells, there's going to be a layer of, of inactive or dead cells right. on top. And if you're putting creams on top of a, a scaly layer of dead cells, those aren't penetrating okay. into the dermis. So there are many ways that we can exfoliate. One is chemically, so we can use fruit acids. There's all varying degrees of of chemical exfoliants that we can use. Some are over the counter, some you need to go to a dermatologist right. to use, depending on the severity of the condition that you're okay. treating. Would that be a chemical peel? A chemical okay. peel, but there's some very mild ones going yeah. to some very drastic ones. Okay. So you've got, to, you've got to really go to someone who knows what they're doing. Yes. Otherwise you can really do a damage okay. to your skin. There's also laser. So there's a laser exfoliation process. The easiest one and the cheapest one to do at home is mix a little bit of bicarb into your cleanser and just gently, okay. you know, scrub yes, the yes. dead cells off. And that is accessible to most people. Right. Bicarb costs almost nothing mm. and most of us use a cleanser. Another thing to do is not use soap on your skin. Soap okay. is very, very drying, very, very damaging. So we need to find not an expensive product for your skin because a cleanser is going to be on your skin for seconds. Yes. If you're going to invest the money, you invest it in a, in a good day cream or night cream. Okay. And that's pretty much all you need. To spend thousands a month on creams is nonsense. There mm. are some excellent products out there that do not cost for a fortune. Okay. Um, and I've tried everything. Okay. I mean, I've, I've, <laughs> I've test driven everything from yeah. the most expensive things out there to some really good over-the-counter products. And I can't really say that the most expensive things gave me a wow experience. Very interesting, yeah. um, and I've seen this with many people. If you, you've, but you've got to find the right product for you mm -hmm. at this particular time of your life. Okay. So, you know, it changes. Our needs change. If you, for example, in Joburg in winter, we need a lot more hydration, um, especially if you work in an environment where there is heating or air, air conditioning. conditioning. Yeah. Um, there's no moisture in our air at the moment. So our need for humectants is much higher. Now, if you have a problem skin, 
or breakouts. Most of us will not use something that creates is, that has moisture because yes. we're afraid that the moisture is causing the eruptions and the breakouts. Ah. The problem is when you deplete moisture from your skin, it's going to counteract that with creating more sebum to protect itself. So you've got to make okay. more oil in response to drying out your skin. Actually, cause a breakout. It because causes of what you're doing. exactly in the long term. So taking medication that dries out your skin, what's going to happen the minute you come off that, your skin's going to go crazy and make more sebum. Okay. So the idea is finding balance yes. and you need to work with somebody who understands that and can give you the right thing for what you need right now, but don't be fooled into thinking you have to spend a fortune. You do not. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Nikki. I think the saying that beauty is skin deep has certainly been disproven in this conversation because yeah. it's really about what's going on inside, but there certainly are things that you can do on the outside Absolutely. that are also going to help. Well, mm. thank you for the chat. Thank you. Wonderful.